Hi, this is Kat with Beta Holly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to wire wrap crystal rondelles onto a beatable wire frame. So I have my frame here, and this beautiful little fan style is what we're going to be using, and I'm going to be wrapping those rondelles right along the bottom there. So my little tiny rondelles are here, and these are really, really sweet, and I picked out this little turquoise color here today, so you can just see how teeny tiny they are. They are 1.5 by 2.5. And I also have some earring hooks to help me finish my look. And today we are going to be using 28 gauge wire. You can also use 30 if you want a little bit of a finer look. And just so you are aware, the uh, rondelles will accommodate up to 24. So if you wanted to do this technique on a different piece, you can absolutely do so. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna show you really quickly how to straighten out the wire here. So go ahead and take it in your chain nose pliers. And if you need to straighten out the wire, mine's pretty straight. I mean, it will have a natural little curve to it and that's okay. But just go ahead and just run your nylon jaw pliers right along and I'm just pulling it all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. There we go. And that can help straighten it out just a little bit. This is also helping to work harden it so it's nice and easy to work with. And the last tool that you're gonna need is we're gonna need our flush cutters here in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and begin our wire wrap. So I have about 12 inches here. And let's pick up our piece. And what I wanna do is I wanna take about an inch or so and just start my wrap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap around, coming to the outside here, and just wrap three times. So using that short little tail to do this wrap. One, two, and three. Now, if your wraps look like this, where they're a little separated, that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna move that whole thing to one side. We wanna get it nice and close up to one side there. And then you can either do this with your fingernails, because this is a light uh, wire, or you can come in with your chain nose pliers, however you like. And what we're gonna do is just kind of holding it there. We're just gonna pinch those coils together, just like so. And again, we wanna make sure that we are scooching that all the way to one side. Now, I like to leave the little bit of a tail there. I don't like to cut it off just yet because it gives me something to sort of grip onto. And then if you need to, you can come in with your nylon jaw pliers and just kind of straighten out that side in case it got just a little bit kinked there. All right, so now I'm gonna take this side as though I was you know, kind of picking something up with a needle. I'm gonna pick up one of my beads and let that slide all the way down to the bottom there. And now, continuing the wrap, I'm gonna wrap up and over and I'm gonna go to the front of the piece and wrap it to the back. And I'm gonna do that only twice now. So two times, wrapping up and forward to the back. All right, and you can see that it kind of starts to coil on you and that's okay. I'm gonna pick up another bead and just simply repeat. Let me see if I can get that nice up and close to the camera here. So we have our bead there and we're just wrapping towards the front. And you can just see that I like to hold it with my fingers, so I know it's it might be a little bit hard to see, but just hold it with your fingers in place and make sure that you're wrapping and your coils are nice and tight. So go ahead and just scooch everything together there, make sure everybody is nice and cozy, and then we can continue. So you're just gonna continue in the same manner here to pick up the beads. And again, you just wanna make sure that everybody is kind of nice and cozy. You can just see that I'm kind of, again, again, I kind of like hold it with my fingers just cause I wanna make sure that everything is gonna fit nice and snugly there. And do that second wrap there. And if you look down this way, you'll just wanna make sure that they're aligning properly so you can just kind of squeeze them together. And again, this wire is really, uh, really, really thin which is great because you're not using any uh, anything load bearing on it. So you don't have to worry about it being, um, uh, you know, kind of heavy and, and dealing with any kind of stress. So this really is just decorative, which is actually the way I like to wire wrap. I think it's just a little bit nicer and it's a little sweeter too. All right, so as you can see, it's just really repetitive from here. I'm just gonna continue to add the beads and then I'm gonna show you on the other side what it looks like in just a moment. Okay, so I am just adding that last little wrap there, my last bead, and now I'm gonna come through, and remember how we did it on the first side, we're gonna do three wraps, so I wanna make sure that I can mirror that on this side here. So one, two, 
and three. Beautiful. All right, and bring it to the back. And now the last piece here is we're just gonna come in with our flesh cutters and trim as close as we can to that very end and trim off both of our little tails here. And if you have your little wires sticking out there, you can just kind of come in and pinch them with your chain nose pliers. There we go. All right. Now the last little piece here to complete one of our earrings is we're just gonna come in with our chain nose pliers, bend back the loop of our earring hook. Now because this has the little ball on the beginning, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna slip it over the back so that it can come and sit right there. And now we just go ahead and just close up that little loop there. All right. Beautiful, so that is one earring, and you can fit about 12 rondelles. You can do less or you can do more, you know, you can continue to wrap up the sides if that's what you want, but I just really like that nice little fan there of uh, 12 beads. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You could just repeat all of that with the second piece there, but you can get all of these supplies and see even more tutorials by heading over to beadaholic.com.